I've been in a car accident before. Yeah? When did that happen and where? Mine was a little bit more serious than yours was. Oh, yeah? Welcome to Magic um, like you said, we were in Michigan. I want you to release the it was... Reclaim our treasure I suppose I could preempt this with another story. Please. We were at a 4th of July party at our friend's place. And, uh... Because I'm a spry 22... At the time, I was a spry 20... <gasps> Had you been drinking this evening? Spry 21 or 22 year old. I may have been drinking a small bit. Oh, wasn't, no. like, I wasn't drunk. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, right. I was very much in control of myself. That's good. And I had thrown a frisbee on top of the roof. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, I had a frisbee throwing, apparently. Alright. And instead of getting a ladder like a normal person would, mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, I'm 22. I'm athletic, I can do this. So I try running up the side of the wall. <laughs> like assassins creating this stuff and grabbing under the roof and pulling myself <laughs> up. Of course. First time, doesn't work. Nope. Second time, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Third time, I got really close. Okay. <laughs> I didn't quite make it. Alright. So like, alright, I'll stop now. I look down at my hand. These things are really freaky. I don't want to interrupt, but look at those. Oh my, oh wow, that little smirk. <laughs> I know, oh, they're oh so scary. Dude, this game has some nightmare fuel shit in it. <laughs> like, honestly, especially too. this world. Like, yeah, these guys are weird. Anyway, please continue. So I look down at my hand, and it's just pouring blood out of my oh, hand. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm kind of freaking out. I'm like, oh my god. So, like, I run to the backyard, this little trail of blood following me. Ugh. And uh, I'm like, I need some help back here. <laughs> uh, and I end up like ripping open my hand. You can see it. Oh yeah. Uh, obviously, the oh, oh you're right. So well, maybe I'll take a picture and I'll edit it into the video. I have the I have a picture oh, okay. of it. Pre stitch You'll, and post stitch. You will send me both, and they they will be there. And um, so one of the people at the party was a nurse, so she was able to get us wrapped up, and I was able to go to. But it was kind of a thing where, like, okay, every fourth of July from now on, I'm basically bubble wrap in the house. And, um, so it was Halloween. Okay. So we were at uh, someone's house, we were doing, we were playing Axis and Allies. Oh. And I had had a, a drink across the whole day, so I was like, I was fine. That was weird. And uh, so I'm driving home, it's like 11.50 at night or something like that, and it's pretty dark out, obviously. It's, like, drizzling out. And I'm coming in at the intersection. I have a blinking yellow. Mm -hmm. The other direction is a blinking red. Yep. So I go through it. Yeah. As I am wont to do because it is my right. <laughs> and there's like a moment. Uh -huh. So I'm going 45. That's the speed limit. Yeah, 40, 45, something like that. Dude, yeah, everything's 45 around here. Oh my oh, god! That was beautiful! Oh no! Oh my god, that was impressive. That was. Dude, you couldn't have. Uh, gosh. Wow. Anyway. And um, there's like a moment, I think, when you're in a car accident where you can kind of see it about to happen, but there's oh, nothing yeah, you can absolutely. do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So this person hit my front left uh, wheel. Ooh. So I could see it out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, yeah, oh, that's okay. Oh, man. And it's like, there's literally nothing I could have done. And yeah. um, she's probably going 40, 45 as well. Um, there too. So I end up going flying off. Off the side, cause I have a little dinky. Look at this Chevy clown. Cruiser. Look at this fucking clown. Nice. <laughs> Dancing around. <laughs> I have a Chevy Cavalier, and like I just get, she's a Jeep. I just get bounced across the street. I, oh. I go onto the sidewalk, and I actually ram into a street lamp and oh. knock it over, and I'm oh parked goodness. on top of where it comes off the ground. Yeah. So like I think I blacked out for a couple of seconds because like, blame the, air, for that. the airbags went off, and yeah. um. My door wouldn't open, which freaked the he hell out of me. Yeah, I bet, it was yeah. smoking because of the yeah. airbags. I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, right. And um, by the time I was having the seat, apparently she was partially drunk. I think she was an Uber driver. So oh my god, people, really? She had people with her. Oh man. And um, my car was totaled. Yeah, I bet. I was completely fine, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, a little like uh, shoulder thank. pain from the seatbelt, but um. Yeah, you got more hurt <laughs> before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the biggest like thing was that my car was totaled and I had to get a new one. Ah, that sucks. So. Bummer. That's a bit of a story. That's yeah. Like, had out what's going on. I don't, I'm not really paying attention, but like we're... Yeah, there's not a whole lot going more. on right now. Um, this is this is the world that I said is just, it's nice looking. Like, there's not really anything crazy gameplay-wise here. We are, okay, so we are in the third world. Yep, because we got Oswald or... Yes. Yep. Oswald, Gosn something, I think. Gosnard. His name was. Gronyard. Yeah, know. something. Yep, so this this level has some branching paths here and there. 
It's got those yellow things that are really cool looking. See, this is the kind of thing, like, I, I wonder how creepy those would look if it was remastered. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. It's it's hard to say, because I think a big reason why they look creepy is because they're kind of low poly. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's hard to say, but... And, like, cool. from what I've seen of Crash Remastered, they all, they all look pretty if you keep similar to what Yeah, they really, do. I mean, they just, they rounded off a lot of the edges. I mean, that's, that is true. A lot of the, um, the bear still looks really freaky. <laughs> Right. In the Crash Trilogy, which is good because the bear was extremely freaky in the original game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I would, I would agree with that. I... Oh, good. I was I was very smart to go this way first. He's, uh... Got a lot of lives now. I don't think I'm gonna game over, that's for sure. <laughs> More fireworks down here. This level has 500 gems in it. I can say that for certain. Well, we already <laughs> passed 400. Yes. So. I was, I wasn't gonna prove myself wrong again, because I'm supposed to be the professional here. Another big old glide over here. Now what are they doing? <laughs> like the worst day to record. Uh, Kelvin. Kelvin, yeah. Look at him, he's cute. Look at that green like OT yeah. guy, our beard guy. Going on. I know. 37, dude, we are killing this right now. Do I want to ask how many dragons there are in the game? I be 100. believe there is 80. I was close. Yeah. Yeah, 100, that would be a lot. I'm not really focusing on catching this blue guy right now, if you couldn't tell, I'm just trying to get the treasure. <laughs> yeah, okay. I now believe, I, I believe you. Now I am. Uh, that should be close enough. There we go. And of course, we're at the halfway point, so I'll just keep going. As you can see, we uh, we needed five dragon eggs to get to the next world from here, and we already have way more than five, so we're, we're doing okay. I think we have like seven or eight. Yeah, so you're pretty good. You're right. Fireworks? Nice. Yep. Do they actually like to do something in the sky? Um, I don't think so. You can't you can't adjust the camera to check. So. All right. Oh, that's the last one. Oh, nice and yellow. Woo! All right. So in the next level, um, we're going to be introduced to two new mechanics. Oh, cool! I think, if I remember correctly. There's two new... I'm going to come back here in a minute. Don't worry. Um, I'm not worried. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to keel over and die of a heart attack getting stressed out over. It's like, wait, it's 100% right and you missed that enemy. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is just being ridiculous right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we have eight eggs already, so yeah, we're, we're, we're doing okay. All right, so we got to go down here and get this guy. This is why I have to come back here. And might as well, for good measure, gotta get more lives. There we go. So now we are going to go... Over yonder. So look at this! This is interesting, huh? What do you a think boost, that might do? Is that a boost pad? Yeah, you're right, it is a boost pad. This guy's about to explain it, but no spoilers! <laughs> Guys, is Anton, what the heck up? I know. So we're gonna go into high caves here. This is... This is a tough level. This was one level that I could not 100% as a kid. And it's, there's a very simple reason why, and I'll, I'll show you immediately. Um, I'll preface this by saying I was very afraid of bugs as a child. Look at that thing! We'll just pretend that it's making that noise. <laughs> That would be frightening. So that thing Look at you these can, guys. I know these guys are freaky too. This this is a freaky level, man. This is a freaky world. Um. So anyway, yeah, those bugs you can't kill through normal oh. means. You have to get um a special power later to do that. And uh, we'll we'll see it in short order. These guys like spitting out tornadoes or something like that. Yeah, I don't know the the big giant blue guys. I guess are fighting with the tornado things. Oh. I guess I don't know. This is this level's weird. I don't understand a lot of things that are going on in it. 
but this this level is kind of tough. There's a lot of branching areas that are very easy to miss, and it's kind of set up in a weird order. So if you're trying to, t this this is about the point where I gave up on trying to speedrun this game because I was like, I don't know where you're supposed <laughs> to go. <laughs>